Two things I need to do today. For one, I haven't got my pay from Chili's yet. Gotta go to the head office again. Two, I need to head to Resorts World Theatre. I need to return my security pass and collect back my deposit. Yep, a couple of things I need to do today. What is up you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now before I worked at Chili's, I used to have a job at the Resorts World Theatre. I kept that job. I never quit that job. It was actually just a casual job. Meaning to say that only if there's a show, then we can take up slots if we choose to work. Now I've been working at Resorts World Theatre for about five to six years and usually it's just a casual part-time thing so on and off while I was working at Chili's I would go and do some shows at the Resorts World Theatre and then I come back and work at Chili's again and then I go back and work at the theatre so my plan my plan was to go back and work at the theatre since Chili's was closed and I called the manager at the theatre she says yes we would like you to come back and I was like hey great there is still something for me turns out that wasn't the case Two days later, I got an email saying the theatre is going to close and we should go and return our security pass. And that's what I need to do today. I need to go return our security pass. It's basically a card that allows you to access to places where it's restricted. And once I return the card, I'll get my deposit back. That's the plan today. And then the other thing is Chili still hasn't paid me yet so I need to go and find out what's going on again. Woo! Real life. So imagine if you guys were missing a month of your salary. That's what I'm feeling right now. Despite all this, I am still trying to remain calm and positive. I am still trying to be optimistic about the whole situation. I just don't know how long I can remain calm and positive. I'm still doing my best. I'm still trying my best. I mean, on the bright side, at least I got Freddy. He he basically saved me a lot of money on transportation. Otherwise, I'll have to pay for the bus or the MRT. With Freddy, going to places is pretty much free now. All right, I'm back here at the office again. Gonna take the leap up. I hope I get good news today. After an hour later, talking to the very lovely HR ladies, they're trying to get things sorted out. And that's the only update I can get. So hopefully my pay will come in in a week or two. But right now I got to go to Resorts Worth. I got to rush to Resorts Worth. But it's not that far here. And do the security pass thing. It looks like it just rained here. Vivo City! Gotta head to the Broadwalk. Super wet Broadwalk. I gotta be honest with you. I miss coming here. I do. And it's only been like a week since I came here. I do miss coming here. I mean guys, look at this. Look at Chili's now. They've taken off the signs. Everything is gone. It is, it is a bit sad. Guys, this is the Resorts World Theatre. This is where I used to work. In there. But now that is closed as well. Time to head to basement 2 for the security office. Alright, alright, alright. A little detour. I just spoke to my manager at the theatre. He told me not to return my pass yet. Go speak to HR, human resource, and then see what positions are available before I surrender this pass. Hopefully I can get a position here. So guess what? To get into HR, I need to go and renew the pass first. Then I can access the HR. Because my pass is already expired. Alright, 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 done, running up and down, HR is gonna find me some position here, but I doubt there's any good positions here, so, yeah, fingers crossed anyways. So I guess I'm done with everything I need to do here at RWS, time to head to Vivo City now, and guess who I'm gonna meet? Freddy just sitting there and enjoying the view, look at that, look at that view, big. Are you enjoying the view as well? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The cable car. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Vic? <laughs> so we are just hanging around at Vivo City because we haven't been in Vivo City for a while. Every day in Vivo City. Every day in Vivo City. Right. <laughs> Alright, Vic. It's nice catching up with you again. Yay! I'll see you when we do the jewel at Changi Airport, right? Yeah. And you said there's a new outlet there as well, right? Yeah. What is it? A&W. The a and w is back in Singapore, guys! Yay! <laughs> We're definitely gonna have A&W. Yeah. Alright. See you, Vic. Bye. See ya. Freddy, say bye to mom. <laughs> so, just like that, I'm gonna head home. That was a really good catch-up with Vic today. Now that you guys see me a lot, 
a lot in the vlogs. Now you realize that I will meet Vic a lot. That's because back in the days, whenever I vlog, it's always when I'm meeting Vic. And that's why it seems like she's always in the vlogs. But in actual fact, I don't meet her a lot. <laughs> so now you know. Now you know. I probably meet Vic like once a week or once in two weeks. Yeah, that's pretty much the time that we hang out. And it's still the same. I mean, back in the days where we were working in Chili's together, but it was only at work that I see her. But yeah, if you talk about hanging out, then yeah, maybe just once in a blue moon. By the way, has anybody realized that today's vlog had no B-roll in it? Yeah, I did it on purpose because my next vlog, we're gonna talk about this. We're gonna talk about B-rolls. Oh my god, you guys. I got home, I went to change, and I was browsing on my phone, and I saw Dumbo. Dumbo is out already. How could I not even know this? I guess I would say that I was too engrossed editing that I really forget. I forgot what shows is out already. But Dumbo is definitely one of the Disney movies that I have to catch. You know. Disney. Disney makes great movies. I made a video about Disney dominating this year. So how could I not watch Dumbo? Last movie is at 11.25. It is 10.30 now. I gotta rush. I need Blackie. Blackie! We got a movie to catch. Movie is done. Gotta head home now. Okay, Dumbo. This movie, I would like to talk a little bit more about this. It is a bit interesting. The character, Dumbo. It's a cute elephant. It's adorable. Everybody loves Dumbo. I mean, why wouldn't you love it? It's cute. Everybody loves a cute elephant, right? The CGI in this movie for Dumbo is perfect. Dumbo looks bloody cute as hell. Now, what actually I want to talk about is that the original movie in 1941 or something like that. Like, I watched that movie when I was like five. And to tell you honestly, I don't remember <laughs> a lot of it. But coming into this movie, when watching it, I was like, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, oh, I remember that. What this movie does, it does give you glimpses and clips of things that would remind you that you actually watched this movie in the past of the original cartoon having said all that having said all that the original cartoon is only about like an hour this movie however goes up to an hour 40 minutes now you could imagine how much gap and things they have to fill up in this movie this movie reminds me so much about transformers and why i say that is that in transformers it's all about the autobots and the decepticons but no in the movie they bring in human characters and then they play a lot on the human story shia labeouf and megan fox blah 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 you know there's a romance to that movie and it's the same thing with dumbo they bring in human characters that were not in the original cartoon and then created a story out of that but 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 let's be honest i didn't even care about the human characters in this movie you go into this movie focusing on dumbo and it should be focusing on dumbo whenever dumbo is sad you feel it but when the kids are sad or when the other actors are sad you don't really feel it because that's not what the movie should be about it should be focused on dumbo the main thing in this movie it should be focused on Dumbo if you love Dumbo then you would enjoy watching this movie because it does give you a little sense of memory lane to your childhood but if you have never ever watched Dumbo ever in your life then this movie makes no sense to you all in all me being a Disney fan and a supporter ha <sighs> I'm gonna just give it a 6 out of 10 for this one. The movie was enjoyable to watch. However, if you're gonna have more characters to be in this movie, then make sure it's believable. Otherwise, just focus on Dumbo. You could really focus and play a lot of emotion between Dumbo and his mother. That's it. If you played that a lot more, I would be crying a lot in the cinema. Okay. Thank God that I didn't cry a lot in the cinema. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya!